Hello, this is Dorothy Wilkes, a customer success specialist here at Enphase Energy. And today I want to discuss the SGIP rebate. I wanted to go through Enphase services and how we can help you on this SGIP rebate for the battery storage system. So SGIP stands for Self-Generative Incentive Program. So the homeowner or the installer can go to the Self-Gen website and apply themselves or they can go through Enphase where we offer our services to handle the application process for you. It could be very confusing and lengthy. So we've offered these services for a very small fee to help you get that rebate. So the homeowner has to be in the state of California and have energy storage added to their home or existing storage system and also have it with solar. So to assist, all we require is your utility bill and a signed contract. Once we get that information, we take that and we handle the application process for you. The incentive is based on kilowatt hours, and the energy storage capacity of the battery, and what budget category you qualify for. So the applicant could be the homeowner, the installer, or any third party applying on behalf of the system owner. The very first requirement, they must have an SGIP developer code. So they must apply as an SGIP developer through the SelfGen website. Typically, this is the installer or the contractor. However, the homeowner can also be the developer and apply for that code. Once the SGIP developer code is received, that must be uploaded into the Enlightened Company profile in order for the homeowner to continue with that process. So there's two phases in the application. The first phase is the rebate reservation, where you submit to us your utility bill and your current signed contract, and we will take the application and submit that for the rebate reservation. Once we get that rebate reservation, the second step is the incentive claim and the site activation documents, where we require specific documents, and we'll go through that in a minute. So the budgets and incentive rates. So there's three main budget categories. And currently there is small residential, residential storage equity, and equity resiliency are the top three. Um, small residential is for regular households, 10 kilowatt hours or less, sorry, 10 kilowatts or less. Residential storage is for low income families. Equity resiliency requires you to be in a high fire threat or at least phase two public safety shutoff events. And one of the following is a qualifier. Could be a medical baseline, could be a rely on electric pumps for water. Just please be aware that electric pumps for water qualifier will also have to include low income. You can check the current status of budgets at any time at the SelfGen website under program metrics. Large scale, it's any systems ag above 10 kilowatts and these will have to be justified with green button data. So you will have to upload green button data and they will look at the peak demand of the system, determine if that system is large and is just that large system is justified for the full payout. And there's just some calculations you can go through if you're concerned about whether yours is qualified or not. And phase batteries are all listed on the verified equipment list under the SGIP. It includes our IQ, IQ3s, IQ10Ts, IQ3Ts, and 5Ps currently. So once again, here's some information on the budget qualification criteria. And you can also go to the CAPUC maps to check if you are in a high fire threat zone. And for the public safety shutoffs, um, several utilities do have a link on their specific websites. For equity budget, there is some links where you can actually click in, on your zip codes and look into more um, information on whether you are in that low income category. So as far as the contract we discussed, this is information that must be on the contract, must have a breakdown of the cost between the PV and the storage, the project description, scope of work, the make and model of the batteries, 10-year labor and workmanship, 10-year hardware manufacturer warranty, and 
obviously the green button data information would have to be uploaded at the same time and then the utility bill. So in the final stages, once we get approval from the utility that rebate reservation, the next stage would be site activation documents. So we would need a copy of the final permit, the HD stamp plans, and the permission to operate, which was usually a letter from the um, utility stating it's okay to, to switch the system on. Now, once you get that PTO, depending on the utility, there may be a specific rate change that you will need to change to for this SGIP um, rebate to be paid out. And please note you have 12 months from the rebate reservation to get the PTO. If it is past that 12 months, the rebate will not be <clears throat> approved and will be canceled. So that's kind of a quick walkthrough. Now I'm going to go ahead and share my screen on the SelfGen website. So if you go to selfgenca.com, you'll see they have different information. They'll have statewide announcements. They'll be announcing if there's any more funding, depending on what categories there are, um, forms and documents. This is where you can find the developer application, the handbook, if you want to look into um, this more information, and program metrics. So program metrics, when you first open up, you're going to see all the different utilities. So CSE, which Handle San Diego Gas and Electric, SCE, SoCal Gas, PG&E are the main utilities and admins for this rebate. Now you will need to go to select budget category to look at each specific funding. So right now you'll see all this funding, available funding below here. So that's overall for the entire project, for the entire rebate. You will need to select specifically if you're looking at small residential, if you're looking at equity resiliency. So let's, for example, look at equity resiliency. So you can currently see that CSE is waitlisted. What that means is you can still apply, but you will be on a waitlist. There's no guarantee when you will be chosen off that waitlist. So for step five, if that closes and you are not chosen off that waitlist, you would have to reapply and look for the, act, the next active step six if there is more funding available. For SoCal Edison, there's over 2 million funds available, so you could apply. SoCal Gas is open. PG&E is also currently closed for, or I'm sorry, currently waitlisted for equity resiliency. So you can still apply, but you will go on a waitlist. So to get an idea of the funding available, you're going to go down here. You'll see large scale storage, small residential. So for example, let's go to equity resiliency since it is the highest budget. They're paying out a dollar per watt hour. And that is for all categories. For small residential, they're paying out 15 cents per watt hour. Now, please be aware for small residential, even though funding may be available, I want you to scroll down to the bottom. There's this residential storage soft target cap. So they are only giving funding to customers that are in a tier three or tier two high fire threat zone or have had their electricity turned off in two or more discrete events once the category hits 50%. So for example, SCE, they've already hit that 50%. So the next 50%, they are only giving to the tier two or tier three, or people that have experienced the PSP shutoffs for small residential. SoCal Gas still has some funding available. PG&E has also hit that 50%. So small residential will only be accepted for the high fire threat or people that have experienced the two power safety shutoffs. So a lot of people aren't aware of that, just to be aware for small residential. So that's kind of idea how to look at the funding, see what's available. I suggest you check this at least once a week if you're going to talk to your homeowners or homeowners. If you want to see if you're eligible, please check this weekly because this does change. Let me stop sharing. So that is kind of an overview of our SGIP program. Now I'd like you to please reach out if you have any questions, have any concerns. We do have a team of experts here to help. 
Um, we do have an email that you can reach out anytime you want to set up another call with further test with, with further training. Um, you can reach us at SGIP, SGIP at enphaseenergy.com and um, set up a training session, set up an, um, you know, a walkthrough for more questions. If you need help trying to apply in our, in our Enlighten portal or the Enlighten app, please feel free to reach out. Well, thank you very much and hope everybody has a great day. Bye-bye.